developing now. Police in East Garfield Park looking for clues after a chaotic morning ended in gunfire inside a store. The violence could have turned out to be a lot worse, though, if not for a quick thinking store owner. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli talked with him. He joins us now live. Vince. Rob, some real quick thinking moments. This is the Metro PCS store where that armed robbery was taking place this morning. At the other end of the block, the same family owns that grocery store and monitors there are trained on the action inside the phone store. The family could actually see that armed robbery taking place, and that's when a brother came rushing to help. We're protecting his identity, but the man in the gray sweater who owns the Metro PCS has quite a tale to tell. It's hard. It's, a, it's the first time shooting on somebody, but uh, we have to do like we, I have to do what I have to do with that. Hours later, his surveillance cameras were still trained on the crime scene with police collecting evidence, a gun still on the floor. What I saw is he pointed the gun on them, and then that's why I get off my store and go over there. He also owns the grocery at the opposite end of the block, where he witnessed on surveillance monitors the armed robbery in progress, a gun pointed at his brother and a female co-worker, and he ran to help. What did you say to him when you walked in the door? Drop the gun and please drop the gun and stuff like that. He don't listen, he just turned and start shooting. What was going through your mind while all of this was happening? <sighs> Call my bro my mind had to be safe and my brother to be safe. How did you manage to not get hit? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm a be careful. Like I was hiding behind behind the concrete. The gunman was a 17-year-old male hit in the shoulder and transported to Mount Sinai Hospital. Police say he was arrested last month for another armed robbery. They were actually getting ready for the Christmas program. The daycare center at the middle of the block moved some 20 children, most toddlers, to the far end of the facility as the shots rang out and a brother took action. Could you imagine how this might have ended if you wouldn't have had that camera? I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. I'm, I'm, we're glad we have the camera. We're glad everybody's safe. The owner of the store has a conceal and carry permit, so he was allowed to have his gun with him today. The 17-year-old is listed in stable condition tonight. Police have yet to decide whether they will charge him as an adult. Reporting live from East Garfield Park, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News. Okay, Vince, thanks.